I'm Pierre Ivrico, aka PY, and I'm an Android staff engineer at Square. As part of the Math Skills series on performance, I wanted to show you a trick with the Android Profiler. Profiler traces can be intimidating. When recording an interaction from Android Studio, it's hard to know where to start looking and where to stop. I'll show you how to capture focused profiler traces from code so that the trace contains only the interaction you care about without any extra noise. You can start a trace from code using debug.start meta tracing, stop it with debug.stop meta tracing, and then ADB pull the file and import it into the Android Studio profiler. Here, I open the Math Skills navigation sample from the architecture component sample repository. Let's say I want to record a trace that starts when I click somewhere and stops when my fragment transactions are committed and the changes are visible. I can do that with just a couple lines of code. First, I overwrite dispatch to achieve my activity. On action down, I start method tracing with a 15 megabytes buffer and recording a frame every milliseconds. On action up, I know that view click listeners are triggered after a post, so I post as well. I know that fragment navigation runs in a transaction, so I create my own transaction to run on commit at the same time. The fragment changes will be visible after the next frame runs. So from there, I post a callback to the core grapher and to stop the trace, I post to right after the frame is done. When I click on the donut, a trace starts and it stops right when the bottom sheet becomes visible. I can use ADB pool to download the file. I can open the file in Android Studio Profiler, and then I can open the main thread, see where I clicked, where the navigation happened, how that led to a fragment transaction, and then a view traversal. That was my tip on using the Android Studio Profiler. Coming up next on this Math Skill series is a live q on Thursday, where the Android team answers your questions on performance. You can ask your questions now using the Ask Android hashtag on Twitter. <laughs>